Hi everyone. We are the from two students from class two and three. S M J K six C. My name is Jun Hen. And my name is Wei Jian. Today, we are going to carry out four exciting experiments. So, let's move on with our first experiment. Okay. Yeah. But do you know how does it works? Uh, don't know. Okay, let me explain. Explain to you. The chemical reaction between vinegar and baking soda creates the gas called carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is the same type of gas used to make the carbonation in solas. So, what happens if you shake up a soda? The gas gets very excited and tries to spread out. There is not enough room in the bottle for the gas to spread out, so it leaks through the opening very quickly and causing an eruption. Our second experiment. Okay, what are the ingredients that we need? Okay, first we need matches and candles. So okay. first we light up the matches and light the candle. Please help me to blow it, the candles. Okay. Let's 
see? Wow! That's amazing! I'm yeah. shocked! But can you know how does this experiment work? Yeah, of course. When you light a candle, the heat from the flame vaporizes the candle wax. When you blow the candle out, vaporized wax briefly remains in the air. If you apply a heat source quickly enough, you can ignite the wax and use that reaction to relax the weight of the candle. Although it looks like you are lightening the candle with smoke, it's really just the wax vapor that ignites. Soot and other debris from the plate isn't ignited. Wow, thanks! Okay, our third experiment. Oh, so what are the ingredients we need for this experiment? Okay, so we need to prepare pine with sand and powder sugar, baking soda and lighter glue and matches, of course. Okay, so first we need to create a hole in the sand. Okay. Four teaspoons of powdered sugar. That was so amazing, but can I know how does that experiment work? Of course, the first of these reactions happens when sugar burns in the presence of oxygen. This produces carbon dioxide and water vapor, which push more of the sugar or baking soda mixture upwards. Some of this additional sugar heats up but doesn't to any oxygen, so instead of burning, it undergoes thermal decomposition, producing solute. So instead of burning, it undergoes thermal decomposition, producing solid carbon and more water vapor. This solid carbon now gives the snake some shape and also gives the Thanks for 
the explanation. Okay. To show you the last experiment we are going to do, which is called all this important. First, we need to prepare our ingredients. The ingredients are a bowl, 400 ml water, and the orbis. Oh. First, we need to pour the 400 ml water into the bowl. Then, we can put the, all the orbis into a bowl and watch it grow up. All these grow for a reason. So after the obese are put in the water, they absorb the water molecules like a sponge. Then when the mo water molecules are in the obese, the nutrition gradient of the sodium neutralization made by the polymer backbone absorb the water. Then the obese just absorb the water itself. After the diffusion gradient absorb the water, it goes into the polymer chain. Come in the office. Are you enjoying this video? If you enjoy this video, please smash that like button and share it. Bye! Bye.